Hello everyone, I'm here today with Cesarin Sanctuary, a good friend of mine from Tumblr. Now, what what was the reason why you started this Tumblr for Cesarin fans? I'm sure we know the reason, but we'd like to know your point of view as to why. Well, I've been a, an Inuyasha fan for many, many years, and when I was watching the show back in high school, I remember getting a lot of flack for being a Seth Shimmer and Ranch Shipper. And uh, I, there was a lot of messy discussion happening on uh, Tumblr as the sequel was announced. And as things started getting more messy, more messy, more messy, I actually was talking with a fellow Tumblr person and we talked about making a safe place for people like us who ship Sashem Rin Rin and just have a, a good, positive place to talk with other fellow fans and enjoy each other without the risk of being antagonized by people who don't like it. I think that is always a good idea um, to be open to others and to remind people um, that there still is kindness in anime fandoms because a lot of times nowadays um, especially on the tumblr fandom if you liked something like Sashomaru and Rin or Eren and Mikasa from Attack on Titan you'll get hate for it and um, yelled at calling it incestuous even if they weren't blood related now I'm really glad that you put together this for the Cess Rin fandom because we also put together our own Inuyasha group on Facebook that's 20,000 members, and there we'll allow anyone to have their own ships, um, and no one should be naysaying on your own ship because it is your own interpretation, official or not. That's what I don't understand about people who give so much hate for no reason. I mean, at the end of the day, these are all just cartoons. They're just mangas. They're just they're entertainment. You can do whatever you want. Like, people give me so much crap for being a Sashomaru and Rin fan, and me, I'm like, why do you care? <laughs> why do you care so much? And and who says that that's not a thing I ship? You know, it's, it's fantasy. As a fan, you can do whatever you want. You can ship whoever you want with whoever you want. I mean, that's the beauty of fiction. That's the beauty of fan fiction. That's the beauty of being a part of a fandom of an amazing show like Inuyasha and it's such a shame that people are ruining it are tarnishing it with with their toxic and immature behavior it's just it it, it baffles me I could get into into the logistics I could back up my argument as to why I think Sashomaru and Ren work really well together but I mean people can go and find all they need on Tumblr alone, let alone other places. Um, but I mean, the just let people do what they want to do. Just stop being so ugly to each other. Why? Why are we adding to the world? The world already sucks. Let's not add the suck to it. Inuyasha series, especially Kagome, with her lessons and teaching one another. Uh, taught us about accepting one another, fighting against discrimination, and what is wrong, what is the problem with demons and humans getting along, and um, she shows that a lot in the series, and Janenji even says that Rin reminds him of Kagome, and so it's very nice to see um, two people that are very kind in the series, um, talking about loving one another, and being kind to one another. Now, we just got off the Cess Rin live stream. It's August 1st right now, and that live stream was more popular than the first live stream for Inukog, and it was very, very, very big. So this is a big deal, um, especially for the Easterners. They all want Sishormu and Rin to be together. So we saw Setsuna and Toa's colors, which was very surprising, but I definitely think, especially with Setsuna's hair color definitely and their facial features as twins even look very much like Rin. Oh yeah, Setsuna has Rin's hair, Toa has Rin's face. 
Um, I think Tilla. Didn't, didn't Tilla have brown eyes? I think. I, I, maybe. Or are they purple? I it was blurry the first time I saw it, and it's also 6 in the morning, and I have any sleep, so. Um, but, oh yeah, they look amazing. I love the colors. I love the red in their hair. Uh, I, I love all of it. I, I love Setsuna's face, because it's like, literally, she could be her father's twin. I know I was actually playing uh, The Sims, and... Um, I was playing as modern day Sashimaru and Rin because that's what I do. And they had a boy and I named their boy Jininji because I love Jininji. Toa has red eyes and Setsuna has like the indigo purplish blue eyes which represents the demon uh, facial birth marks. And also when Sashimaru would turn demon his eyes scleras would turn red anyways. So it was very nice to finally see all three of the characters' official colors announced and how big that this is a uh, big of a deal, especially for people that always made their own OCs um, in hopes of Sashomaru and Inuyasha having kids. Never thought that this would happen, but I will say this, that I did make a post three years ago saying if you guys watch the official um streaming on the Viz Media site that then maybe they will make more Inuyasha <laughs> and it's really funny because it happened and also um, Sumisawa even joked saying we'll, we'll have Rumiko let us make more anime three years ago so or 2018. Speaking of Jinenji that was just brought up to me a lot of fans always keep asking why doesn't Roha have dog demon ears well she's quarter demon um, why doesn't Toa and Setsuna have dog demon ears? Well, all the half demons are different. Not all half demons are the same. And so, Shiori and Jinenji are a good example. Yeah, um, I mean, I understood why people were like, why do they have dog ears? But the first thing I thought of was the fourth movie of, uh, of Inuyasha, where they go on to, uh, Horai Island? Is it Horai Island? The island? Uh, and they meet all of those other ha uh, half demons, and I mean, they all just look so vastly different. It's always just going to be a complete gamble, and I think that's what I love about half demons is that you never know what you're going to get. That's just that's just that's awesome to me. And I I swear I never ever thought ne in my wildest dreams never thought that it would ever be quote canon, and I know canon doesn't exist in Japanese culture, but, like, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that there would be a possibility that the creators of Inuyasha would ever confirm Sashomaru and Rin as much as they are doing, if not doing, if not, like, planning to do more later. I mean, it, it blows my mind, and it blew everyone's mind, and that's why it, it sparked so much yelling. <laughs> Because it, it and every no one knew this was coming. No one knew the sequel was coming. No one knew that this news was coming. It's just it's been insane. And like I said, I I never dreamed that anything like this would ever happen. I will say, like I said in my video earlier, um, Tagahashi really caught me off guard with the purple and the red stripes. But she always always surprises us and always gives us the good candy because that was really cool that was really really cool and i'm really excited to see what they're gonna have in store and what kind of ideas she'll input because i know her and sumisawa are really tight together and she knows everything and he knows her vision too so it's gonna be really exciting i mean and hasn't rumiko takahachi Takahashi, Takahashi always been like, a f a f like, okay with the show movement. She's always been like, yeah, sure, whatever. That's that's fine. Like, <laughs> I feel like she's always tried to, to, uh, like, toss it as something that she doesn't care about. But I think she really cares about it, and it's it's very interesting to see how things are evolving with the show and seeing how people are reacting to the evolution and i mean from from an outside perspective it's a very very intriguing situation 
and um, I'm I'm both looking forward and frightened to see how it seems to unfold. Uh, mainly frightened because I'm tired of I'm tired of having to fight. I'm tired of fighting. Um, I've I've ignored a lot of people because I'm tired of the fighting. I mean, it's just it's just just so bizarre. After what I posted saying, hey, watch the official streams. Maybe they'll make more Inuyasha because of what Sumisawa said at uh, the convention in 2018. About, oh, we'll make Takahashi have us make more anime. And it's just funny that it's happening now. Um, but like I had in my cultural analysis post that a lot of it relates to like stuff like the tale of Genji. And the fact that the official producers made the audio drama and Takahashi's aware of everything to do with Inuyasha, even involved in the video games. She made the character designs of Kaname and Michiru Kurarugi in Inuyasha Secret of the Cursed Mask. I am a strong advocate of blocking people who don't want to listen to reason. So at first when all of this started happening, <laughs> um, there was, there, you know, there, there's still a lot of fighting, but when this first started happening, even I was being antagonized to the point where I was responding. And as I was responding, I noticed that people were not looking for discussion. They were looking for an outlet because they were mad. And once I realized that and started just blocking people, I, I felt there's, it's so much better. It's so much nicer. The fandom is so much better without their interference and I really just recommend that people just block the crap don't even respond just block 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 don't let that toxic crap into your brain enjoy the ship enjoy the show enjoy the sequel don't let those people take that away from you don't let them do that they're mad let them be mad here's what's funny about talking about haters is about a month or two before this was announced um, during when Animal Crossing New Horizons came out and my group started getting popular simply because of my Inuyasha Island that I make in the video game. I got people coming to me and messaging me saying, oh, we're going to dox you, you know, all of these things. Um, oh, what's wrong with you, you know, Rin and Sashamaru? But it's really funny how about a month or two later that this gets announced. And I tried to reason with them too. Um, some of them wouldn't even give me, let me reply to them. It's just weird that they, people I don't know, outwardly attacking me because I talked about the official art by Sachia, which actually has nothing to do with Yasha Hime. Um, nor, it was actually released in 2017, 2018. I own the calendar. But, but, it, it confirms that the animators, the voice actors, and the production company actually ships as red. And we should also remember that all the hate is... What I'm assuming mostly, if not all, from the western part of the world. So it's really just a small group of people. And this small group of people has made enough noise to, to be noticed. And it's it's just it's so stupid there's there's so little people that are so hateful towards this subject when the rest of the fandom the 99.9% .9 of the fandom that's just enjoying everything that's happening and you have that point one person that's like no I'm mad I'm angry and I'm I'm gonna be mad and be angry at you you're the reason why I'm mad and angry when that's not really what's going on but that's what they're thinking and that's what bugs do, that's what little insects do, that's what, you know, that's what people do when they're mad. I mean, why else would they have a live stream with the voice actors of Sushomar and Ren announcing the twins and showing off the best episodes for Sushomar and Ren? It's just, why else would they do that? <laughs> why, why else? It's just... Just announce it! It's nice to have the select few people that were open for discussion that would calmly discuss it and ask, actually ask me questions how Rin and Sushomaru could be together and what evidence that points to it and actually they were happy to change their opinion or, or understand that it could become official whether or not if they agreed with it or not um, with their own personal ship 
that they could acknowledge of it actually being official and not attacking me personally about it. There was a couple few rare people that I enjoyed actually having discussions about that. Yeah, let's make this painfully clear. I personally don't care what anybody ships, and I think if you don't like the Shomer and Ren, that's okay. You don't have to like them. You don't have to like everything that's official. Again, that's the beauty of fiction. You can disagree with it and be okay with it. What's not okay is outwardly, you know, screaming and verbally abusing perfect strangers online because of what they like. That's not okay. It is okay not to like something. It is not okay to be a tyrant about it and to shove people down because of it. I mean, that is just the most annoying and immature thing. I mean, guys, most of us aren't in high school anymore. Right, and this whole thing reminds me very much of the 2007 Kagome versus Kikyo. And it's funny because back then there was no problems with adult Rin and Sushomaru role players. I saw it everywhere, especially on YouTube, because that, that's where I mainly was on, was mainly YouTube and MySpace back in the day. And it's just incredible um, how dramatic that this has gotten, especially um, nowadays um, with them saying words that don't define the actual characters by definition when they say incestuous but incestuous is only if you're related by blood now um with takahashi's work and people people have tried to tell me that oh i don't know takahashi's work it's really funny when um they don't you watch the anime or read the manga of fire tripper and the two characters were neighbors and one was taken in by the other when they were kids and at one point one character is living in the feudal era as an adult but he's raising her as a child but then her adult version also comes in and says well why can't we all three live together and it's like because that's me as a kid <laughs> but then at one point he's a kid and then she's the adult and then as soon as they're both they both meet up again in the right time period he says oh you know we can't we can't be together because you're my sister and she says no we're not related by blood and then they get married so it's like this has happened before in takahashi's work and people are denying it sounds like an amazing story i've never read that one and i want to because that sounds wonderful oh my god i'm sorry you didn't get a professional reply for that but that's just really fucking cute there were a few times where I got some hate, especially <clears throat> when I would get like, you know, 150 to 200 reviews on my stories, you know, back in 2012. Um, I, you know, but it very seldom. It was, it was, you know, it was interesting. People would spam my, my uh, stories and tell me why I was wrong and then send me to some blog spot about how Kagra is the one versus Shomaru. It was really funny. I'm I'm totally not against Kagra and Sushomaru. I actually ship them as well as Sushomaru and Rin because, you know, it's possible to ship more than one person with other people because, again, it's fiction! That's okay. Well, I'm glad to educate someone and let people know about Fire Tripper. You guys should look it up. Um, but I almost guarantee that there's going to be a lot of haters intentionally watching this video. Um, it's funny because during the Cesarin live stream, there's a couple little bit of thumbs down, but mainly tons of thumbs up. I was like, oh, it's just the little tiny antis that are intentionally watching it because uh, they're like, they're, they don't like it. But they don't like it to the point where they want to be into the business, and that's what's really funny about it, is that it gets, it gets attention from the antis, even though they say that they don't like it. I liked Sushomaru with Kagura as well. Um, I never was opposed to the idea of, of Sushomaru even having two wives, because Inuno Teisho had a human wife and a demon wife, so it never bothered me either way. 
It was amazing. It was like, I lose the ship and it says, 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 heart, 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 no. Heart, 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 I lost the ship and it, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, heart, 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 no. Like, it was just, <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, there was so much love in, in the live stream comments. It, my eyes were glued to that comment section the entire time. The entire time. Like, I would glance up every once in a while during an episode that they aired, but that's about it. I was glued to that comment section the entire time, and very rarely did I ever see anything in English. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Eastern is really blow it up. And it's funny because we have some Western cultures, cultured Easterners that try to come out and and say, like, not all Easterners. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously not all Easterners, but I would say 95% of Easterners uh, that are especially super native and still living there can all, uh, almost all agree that they want Sasha and Marin together. In fact, when I shared a poll, I've done a couple polls throughout the years, which do you want Sasha and Marin or Sasha and Marin Kagra? Or another time I called it is Sushomaru parental or romantic as an adult? And it always came out to 70 to 30 percent. 70 percent romantic and 30 percent non-romantic. See, and that's what the funny thing is about these antis, is that they, they're, you know, they're hurting themselves. They are continuing their own pain. And because they add pain to their own wounds, they are trying to, you know, translate that pain to us and that's what I'm trying to tell everybody in the Sashomaru and Ren Sanctuary that just block them and you can't let them get to you because they're mad they're gonna be mad they're gonna stay mad you can't let that get to you because we're winning and they're not and they know that and they're backed in a corner and and ignore them there's not that many there's not that many, I promise you. Compared to all of the people that love Sashomaru and Rin, there are not a lot of aunties out there. Just let them spout their shit and get on with your day. I can say, as one of the people that help with the Sestron Sanctuary, because it is a group effort, I cannot do this alone. This wasn't even my original idea. I just someone gave me the idea we were just talking about it and I did it just out of the blue and the thing is is that e even if you don't agree with Sushomar and Rin being a couple it doesn't mean that you're an anti an anti is when you're trolling and going out of your way to hate speech and hate preach that it's wrong and that if you support the fact that it's probably going to be official or that it should be official that that you're gonna go to hell or that you're sick-minded and all these things but they don't understand that it's a fictional universe where demons age differently and uh, they don't they don't like that I mean if you put it in a real-life setting in a, a Western setting especially and if he really did adopt her and all these different scenarios, which Kaede adopted Rin, it's all different, and they're not taking those factors into account. <laughs> it cracks me up that people are putting, t trying to put Inuyasha in a real world context. Like, have you seen the show? <laughs> the the show is literally called a feudal fairy tale. It's not real. It's not trying to be real it's not supposed to be real it's just a show <laughs> you know what I mean it's just I mean I know people love the show I love the show I draw fan art for the show I've been drawing a lot recently for the show movement specifically I've, I've been writing fan fiction since I was like 14 you know but it's possible to differentiate fiction from reality and that's one of these the, 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 these times are one of those moments where we have to remind ourselves apparently that it's fiction. I don't know how many times I'm, I can say that. And I'm not afraid as one of the uh, people that runs the show in, in the Sesron Sanctuary 
that I block people because I, I'm not about to let any of that negativity into this group. This group is literally created as a sanctuary to keep all of that out. So I, I block people because I don't want to see it. And I know that the people that are following don't want to see it. And yeah, no, that, that, that stops with me. It, it does. I, it's, it's so silly and it, I feel silly even adding to the discourse at, at the, towards the beginning of all of this. Like, I, I feel so silly for doing that. I'm glad I learned from that and just decided to block and to just not see it because on the official blu-ray of season one in Ryasha where we can uh watch Katsuyuki Sumisawa's interview where he talks about how he was able to canonize the Inuyasha movies into the original timeline without breaking Takahashi's actual canon he even says that if you change anything about Inuyasha that is Japanese and change it into a westerner's western setting then that doesn't make that it's Inuyasha and so if they're trying to take it and put it into a western setting their interpretation of a western Inuyasha isn't Inuyasha at all at least of course that that comes from the horse's mouth right there well absolutely I mean there's so much Japanese culture threaded into this story it's I mean it's almost like a mini history lesson for people who like me when I was 11 and watching this show on Adult Swim uh, on Cartoon Network in America I didn't know anything about Japan and, and I learned a lot of basic stuff watching this show because it's very educational at least for an 11 year old American that didn't know anything about Japan so yeah I mean this I mean, it's, it's a story about Japanese culture and that's why we should respect that and study that and learn why it's acceptable why it's okay you know why why it's being written I mean it's these are amazing stories that are being told it's honestly gotten to the point where all of this looks like just like a, an episode of Family Guy a complete parody of the fandom is like hashtag not my sushomaru boycott yashahime don't watch hanyo no yashahime oh half demon princess is fake it's fan fiction but they forget to realize that sumisawa is the inheritor of inuyasha i feel blessed knowing that sumisawa is one of the few people that tokahashi actually trusts and always likes what he writes so obviously she liked Ayame even because that was their idea. So when Kaoru Wada released the music for Moroha, Setsuna, and Toa, what were your reactions as they were as is? And when I made the comparison video about how Moroha's is fate and love from Kogome's theme, um, Setsuna is based off of Sango's because she is a demon slayer and was trained by Kohaku. And as well as the bits of Ren's theme in Toa's theme. What was your reaction to both as they are and how they were in my comparison video? First of all, when I had first heard the music, I got goosebumps galore. Goosebumps galore because the music sounds so beautiful and so fitting. And you can hear, before breaking it down, you can hear the obvious influences in all of their music. All of their music. It's so good. So well put together. Beautiful. Uh, just, uh, so good. And that was my initial reaction. Just utter glee and giddiness from being able to hear it. I mean, it just feels so good. It's like, it's like coming back home from a long trip of being gone for so long. <laughs> but then, you went ahead and went the extra mile and compared the music for Toa and Setsuna and Muraha to other music from the show and mind mind blown it was it was awesome it kind of it was almost like oh how do I explain it it was <laughs> it's funny to sound I was almost annoyed by how 
closely related the songs were to the original music in the original show. Like, it's, it's, it's not only are they super similar, but if you play them together, they sound good together. Like, they all sound good. They all sound like they mesh really well. And if you have them all together, it sounds like one big song. It's just, it's so, it's so cool how he managed to pull that off. And I just, uh, I'm a proud noodle. I'm a proud noodle for this music. It's so good. All right, Sus, we're in Sanctuary. We are now at 30 minutes. Is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers? All in all, I think all of us in the Sanctuary uh, are just super excited for something new. Um, I mean, we don't have a definite, like, yes on if Ren's the mom, but even if she isn't, I'm just thrilled that we're getting more in the Inuyasha fandom. I'm just, I'm thrilled that, that the creators are giving us something new, and no matter what happens and no matter what decisions they make, I'm going to support it, and I'm going to love it no matter what the story is, and I'm just... Personally, I'm just super excited, and I think that it's the general consensus with everyone, at least within our group. But I'm not the only voice, I'm just one of many, and my personal opinion is it's going to be amazing no matter what. So yeah.